Hi everyone, it's Leela from Miss Kiss Creations. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to show you how I create my crackle tumbler. If you don't know what a crackle tumbler is, it is this style tumbler right here. This tumbler has not been epoxied yet, but I just went ahead and I did one right before I started shooting this. So it's kind of the rustic, older style uh, tumbler. So this is a tumbler I will be showing you how uh, to do and how I created this look. Like always, I will be going over my materials and I will be adding everything that I use today in this video in my description below. So if you did miss anything, just go ahead and click my description below and I'll have all my materials listed. What you'll need for this tumbler um, is going to be Elmer's glue. So I am just using regular Elmer's glue. I did purchase this from Walmart. I am using white acrylic paint. The acrylic paint that I'm using is uh, Apple, Apple Barrel brand, again, purchased from Walmart. I am using a 14 ounce kids stainless steel tumbler. I purchased from the stainlessteeldepot.com. Their link will be added in my description below. When purchased, this was just a regular stainless steel tumbler. I went ahead, I sanded it, and I wiped it down with my 91% alcohol. And I went ahead and I sprayed this with my uh, Rust-Oleum spray paint. The color that I did use is the True Navy. And this is a matte finish. You don't have to have a matte finish for this or a flat finish. Um, this is just the color I liked and this is the finish they had at Walmart. Um, so again, this is ultra matte, but if you have a gloss or a satin on hand, you can go ahead and use that finish as well. I have my painter's tray here. I have a sponge brush for my glue. And then I have a regular one inch, um, a cheaper brush for my um, acrylic paint. So you don't have to use this type of brush. This is just the brushes I have on hand. You can use a regular paintbrush if you like. So again, you have the glue on one side and then you have the uh, acrylic paint on the other side using separate brushes. And lastly, you will be needing a heat gun. The heat gun that I use is a Wagner brand. I did purchase this heat gun from Lowe's. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with uh, making this crackle look. So I am just going to add more acrylic paint onto my painter's tray and I'm going to add a little bit more glue um, for the uh, on the painter's tray as well. Again, I have this prepped spray painted tumbler. I went ahead and spray painted it. I just let it dry. I'm now going to take my sponge brush or my brush that I'm using only for my Elmer's glue and I'm going to apply my Elmer's glue onto my tumbler. And you can do it whichever way you like. You don't have to have one swift motion, meaning up the top towards the bottom. You could just put it along the tumbler um, any way you like, just make sure you have a complete coverage of your Elmer's glue around the tumbler. So you're just going to cover this tumbler completely. You're going to cover the bottom and you just want it completely covered. I'm not doing this in any specific way. I'm just making sure this tumbler has Elmer's glue all over it. You don't have to be specific on if it's even, if it's an even coverage or anything. The one thing I love about this tumbler is the fact that it doesn't have to look perfect and that's the overall look that you're going for. You're going for a rustic, older look. Um, the crackle look, it's not perfect at all. So it is really nice to, uh, to do this and know that it's really, really hard to mess this look up. So my tumbler is completely covered and I have the bottom covered here. Now, the next step is you're wanting to apply the acrylic paint over here, uh, over this, um, but you don't wanna apply it over the wet Elmer's glue, but you also don't wanna apply it over the dry Elmer's glue. This part for me is probably the hardest part um, just because you don't want this Elmer's glue to be completely wet like it is now, and you don't want it to be completely dry. So the best way for me is to, instead of letting this air dry, I just hit this with a heat gun a couple times. When the Elmer's glue starts to turn almost clear, but not too clear, um, that's whenever you will apply the uh, acrylic paint over. So I hope that makes sense. Maybe if you watch me do it, it will be more clear. So 
So if you see part of the tumbler starting to dry up um, right here, you can see it's starting to dry up. If your tumbler gets completely dry, um, you can go ahead and just apply the glue again and let it sit and let it um, start the drying process again. So I went ahead and I hit this with a heat gun. There's some areas that are really, really wet, so I'm gonna hit that with a heat gun. <clears throat> And so my tumbler is half dry, half wet. And let me hit the bottom as well. And now that it is, um, some air is dry, some air is wet, I'm gonna go ahead and take my acrylic paint and I'm going to put a very generous amount of acrylic paint on my paintbrush because now I'm wanting to do uh, now I'm wanting to apply the acrylic paint from top to bottom. So I want to take my paint and drag it all the way down, making one motion. So it's okay if it's, if it's got a lot of paint on the top, it's going to crackle out or um, it's, it's going to look rustic and not perfect. And you don't want this to look perfect. So you don't want to paint your, your paint on your tumbler like in little areas, you wanna start from the top or the bottom and just go all the way down around the entire tumbler. Again, my paint or my um, Elmer's glue was not completely dry around the tumbler, not completely wet. Again, for me, that's it's hard to explain, but I hope you guys were able to see um, what I was talking about with that. So I'm just taking a heavy amount of acrylic paint and I'm just putting it around the tumbler and I'm just covering the entire tumbler, not doing little uh, brush strokes. I'm just doing long brush strokes from the top to the bottom. And I personally like this older or this more cheap paintbrush because it helps gives that rustic look. It makes it look not so perfect. And that's kind of what this look is. So I'm just making sure I'm doing this covering the, the top. It looks like I missed the top or the rim of the tumbler. And then I'm gonna just go ahead and do the bottom real quick. Now that I have my acrylic paint on my tumbler, instead of letting it air dry, I go ahead and I take my heat gun and I just heat up the acrylic paint. I don't apply heat in the same area because if I do, the acrylic paint is going to bubble up. So I just do quick motions around the tumbler as I'm spinning it on my turner arm. So this allows the tumbler to have that crackle effect. And the good thing about this is if you want it to be more crackled, what I do is I just take my finger and I just kind of rub along the tumbler and it takes, this does get a little messy, but it takes away some of the paint. So if I apply too much paint in an area, do you see how it just chips off? So if you want the blue to show a little more uh, than what like possibly mine has now, go ahead and take your finger and just kind of rub it off some. And you see, this look isn't perfect. So you're gonna make this, I should say, ugly mark in your tumbler. Um, so, but that's fine because if that's the look you're going for, then it's, it's going to all blend together and it's gonna all come together. You can do this with a glove, you can do this with a sponge brush. I just do this with my finger because it's acrylic paint. And for me, acrylic paint comes off my, my skin and it doesn't aggravate my skin. So you can go ahead and rub some places off to really give it that, um, that rustic look. So you see how that just, let me do one in the camera. So you see how this just like kind of comes off? Just like that. And if you do that around the tumbler um, multiple times, like I did there, 
um, you can bring out that navy blue or whichever back color you're you're wanting to really show off. If you notice around your tumbler, it's still quite wet and it's not completely dry, go ahead with your heat gun again and hit it with your heat gun. Again, make sure you're not applying your heat in one specific area because the acrylic paint will start to bubble and it's not gonna, gonna make that crackle effect look. If you put a lot of acrylic paint, I don't know if you can see, but I put a lot of acrylic paint there. If you hit that with a heat gun and it doesn't start to bubble, it might start to crack. And that's the reason why I hit this with my heat gun more because the heat makes it crack. Just make sure it doesn't allow it to bubble. And here is the finished look of the crackle or the rustic design. So from here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this on my turner and go ahead and epoxy it. Once I'm done epoxying it, I'll go ahead and I'll put a decal or maybe a water slide over it and then epoxy over that again. So there's no drying time for this. There's no curing time. I didn't have to seal this with any Krylon or any acrylic sealer. I am going right to epoxy after this step. Alright y'all, I am back and my epoxy is completely dried or cured on my tumbler and I went ahead and I just printed out some sunflowers and put it on this tumbler. So I wanted y'all to see how this will look when the epoxy is cured. I purchased these sunflower uh, files from Etsy. I'll find the link and I'll put it in my uh, description below. All I did was kind of attach the sunflowers together. This tumbler is not a epoxy jet over the sunflower, so um, this is just the printed vinyl. I will post where I purchased my printed vinyl as well. Just wanted y'all to see a closer look of this tumbler and how the crackle effect really did on here. You could put anything on here. The great thing about this is you can put water slides on here because of the white, so the water slides really do show up well um, with these tumblers. I hope y'all enjoyed this video and if you did please remember to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tumblr and craft videos thanks for watching and i'll see y'all next time